Hello everyone. Today our topic is domain protection. A computer system is a collection of processes and objects. A process is a program in execution. Objects may be hardware objects or software objects. Examples of hardware objects are CPU, magnetic disk, tape, printer, memory segment, and others. Examples of software objects are files, programs, procedures, semaphores, and others. Each object has a unique name that differentiates it from other objects in the system. Each object can be accessed only through well-defined operations. For example, CPU can only execute from a disk and tape. We can read and write. We can open, close, delete a file. We can execute the programs, etc. A process should be allowed to access only those resources for which it has authorization. In addition to that, a process should be able to access only those resources that it cannot require to complete its task. This requirement is known as need to know principle. This principle is useful in limiting a damage a faulty process can cause in the system. Next domain structure. Each domain defines a set of objects and the types of operations that may be invoked on each object. The ability to execute an operation on an object is an access right. A domain is a collection of access rights, each of which is an ordered pair, object name, right set. For example, if domain D has the access right, file F, read write, then a process executing in domain D can both read and write file F. It cannot perform any other operations on that object. Domains may share access rights. For example, in this figure, we have three domains, D1, D2, and D3. The access right or for print is shared by domains D2 and D3. A process executing in any of these domains can print object 4. To execute, for example, object 2, a process should be executing in domain D1. And to perform the right operation to object 2, a process should be executing in domain 2. The association between a process and the domain may be either static or dynamic. If the association is static, the set of resources available to process is fixed and cannot change during the lifetime of the process. In dynamic association, the set of resources available to a process may change throughout the process lifetime. Dynamic association is more difficult to implement. A domain can be realized in a variety of ways. Each user may be a domain. In this case, the set of objects that can be accessed depends on the identity of the user. Each process may be a domain. In this case, the set of objects that can be accessed depends on the identity of the process. And a domain may be a procedure. In this case, the set of objects that can be accessed corresponds to the local variables defined within the procedure. Here, domain switching occurs when a procedure call is made and we'll discuss the domain switching in more detail in the next videos. 
for today. That's all. Thank you.